Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to another Wizard 101 video, and today we're gonna go over Renee's new quest as part of the Commons revamp update. So let's get into it. Oh, hello. Please pardon our dust wizard. We're just doing a little routine campus maintenance. Speaking of which, I've heard enough about you to know that you're the type of person who gets things done, and I really need help getting things done. The craftsmen I hired aren't exactly the most, uh, motivated bunch. They're all just sitting around waiting for supplies instead of working. Could you take this fancy paintbrush to the painter by the headmaster's office and this mortar to the masons near the Ravenwood Gate? Oh, and give these seeds to the landscaper over there while you're at it. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Alright, so what we have to do is give these specific items to all three of these NPCs over here, over here, and over there. Oi, what's all this then? Well, I'll be. This is a genuine unicorn hair paintbrush. Ooh. Suppose I should get back to painting then. Give me thanks to Renee. So after you talk to the painter over here, if you talk to Renee again with the same quest, she will not respond to you. I'm not entirely too sure if that's a glitch or not, but maybe they should fix that or because many people may get confused at that or it's not intended to visit Renee after you visit the painter, but let's get to the mason. Yeah, what is it? Can't you see we're working here? Oh, you got the mortar we requested. Finally, we've just been sitting here trying to look busy. <laughs> You're the boss. You should have the job done in no time. Now that we got the mortar, right then. Oi, let's get to work. For real this time. Look, kid, I'll tell you the same thing I told all the others. I ain't got no seeds, and I wouldn't gift you any even if I did. Uh, uh, what's that? Oh, you've got the seeds the boss wanted me to plant. Brilliant. I've got a lot of planting to do. The lawn here is in desperate need of a resodding. What with all you kids traipsing about over the grass all day. All right, after we talk to all three of these NPCs, all you have to do is talk to Renee. Hello, did she deliver all the supplies? Great, thanks! Hopefully the craftsmen will work as hard at their jobs as they do at pretending to work. Well, thanks again, friend. We'd never get this project finished without you. Be sure to come back and see the fruits of our labor soon. And... Oh, hello! Oh. You're that wizard everyone's always raving. Headmaster Ambrose tasked me to... Could you t just place the range pole down for a second or two at the spot... Hi, right, you guys. Map, and I'll do the rest. Thanks! So, so our reward is actually a hard hat. But as you can see there, a few things to note would be that if you didn't complete the range pole quest, you can still complete it. However, with these quests, you have a limited amount of time to do so because this is part of the commons update or the commons revamp update. Once they're done with all these quests, they're gone. So you better get it if you actually want them. The hard hat doesn't look bad for a free item. Nonetheless, it does remind me of the Helm of the Ultimate Protection, which uh, really has no stats. Same with the hard hat. Though, honestly, the hard hat should give you some kind of protection because, well, if you're if you're if you're doing construction, I, I would think that you you'd want something very resistant. <laughs> but that's just me. Another thing to note would be that the NPCs seem to move their mouths with uh, each piece of dialogue. And that's pretty unique because out of uh, uh, the games below the second arc, they don't actually move their mouths at all. And in Celestia, none of them move their mouths at all. So this is a very unique uh, decision or unique move on King Zizel's part. Uh, the NPCs moving their mouths to the dialogue is a pretty great addition and I know mo most if not all 
MMOs actually have this sort of trait. But that's all that we have to say for this video guys. If you want to uh, check the quest out for yourself, you can. It is free for any members or any non-members of Wizard 101. As long as you complete it in this limited amount of time, you will be able to get these items. That's all I have to say. Take care everybody. I'm out guys. Peace.